We're about to see an air show. One of the best aerialists in WWE history. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 190 pounds, Ricochet! As of late, Ricochet's thrilling aerial maneuvers and breathtaking athleticism have been combined with a new level of aggression. And what we've seen from Ricochet is he moves a little quicker to fight fire with fire. Well, unfortunately, Ricochet still looks for the approval of the WWE Universe. He could soar even higher if he stopped thinking about what the fans want. And here comes one of our favorites. And his opponent from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 189 pounds, the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, Wheeler Muta! The WWE Universe already reaching a fever pitch upon their arrival, and we are just seconds away from a highly anticipated match. say the champ looks ready maybe even eager for this matchup probably feeling a little extra confident knowing that the title isn't in contention here but this could still be a hard-fought match i don't think there's much question of that and you look at ricochet this guy is super impressive in the ring exceptionally athletic clearly innovative but he knows he still has plenty left to prove and he sets out to do that every time the bell rings take off right into the bread basket. Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Oh, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. And he sends him into the corner. Ooh, what an air cut. Charm into the cover. Fending off a two count there. This isn't even close to over. Connects on the kick. Ooh. Chop to the chest. Hard whip into the corner. Into the corner. Shotgun drop kick. Showing that maybe Ricochet's not the only one trying to prove something. Well, not the biggest superstar in the WWE locker room. Ricochet certainly makes up for that in other areas. Absolutely, Cole. Everyone notices Ricochet's speed and agility. Unceremoniously deposited on the outside. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. to the hand. You can feel the resentment building with each stomp there. And Ricochet adapts. Looking for the backslide. Backslide driver. Ridiculous standing shooting star. He's looking a little off balance. It looked like Ricochet's aim was dead on with that one. Into the pin attempt. He's able to kick out before two. And those kickouts are only going to get harder. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Able to reverse. 
He foiled that attempt. Cradle pile drive. His shoulders are down. But for how much longer? Ooh. And look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. Both arms trapped. What, what on earth? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Uses the edge of the knee. Basement drop kick. Ridiculous standing shooting star. He's struggling a bit here. The stupendous speed and power of Ricochet is yet to run out of steam. Superhuman confidence from Ricochet as he reaches towards perfection. And targeting the leg there. Now aspiring offense from Ricochet. Seeing some bone-shaking power behind those attacks as Ricochet takes advantage. He is delivering elbow after elbow. He'll take things into the ring. Look out! Uh -oh. Suicide dive! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. He's got the answer for that one. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spitting in the face of danger. No, no, no. Suicide dive. Whatever it takes to win. That is tossing your own body around without a care. Taking no account for their own well being. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Ah, oh, Ricochet. The nice. But can Ricochet close this? Two. He. No way. No way. How close was that? That was about as close as it could get without it all being over for him. And somehow this is not over. Ricochet cannot believe that didn't end this. If this lands, it's over. Phoenix Splash! Attempting high-risk move after high-risk move at a breakneck pace. And that's it. Ricochet wins. Here is your winner. Ricochet! Ricochet gets the win tonight. Ricochet celebrating the result, taking in his big win. He earned it. The high-flying skills of Ricochet were on full display.
The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, Billy Kay. Social media has been buzzing since this match was announced, and I think the competitors plan on delivering on that oh, hype. Yeah. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. And from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. Roxanne Perez was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Booker T. And he has said on numerous occasions that he sees endless potential in Perez. Potential is great, but she needs to tap into that killer instinct that Booker had. That edge keeps you on top. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown, who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. One of the brightest young talents in all of WWE, Roxanne Perez, is set for action here. Roxanne has already accomplished so much in her young career, it's hard to imagine where she'll be in just a few short years. One thing's for sure, I don't think anything or anyone can stand in her way. She's definitely proven she's up for any challenge. I'm sure tonight will be no different. Yeah, but she's standing across the way from someone who redefines the word intensity. This isn't just a competition to her. This is a must-win situation, and she won't even consider any other outcome. That's not exactly the type of person you want to get on the wrong side of, which she is. Face first. Scoop slam. She's starting to look concerned. She was clearly waiting for that. Fez Press takes him down. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Ah, oh, jeez. A oh, mounting. And hammering away. Oh, no. Slam sets things up. And it's been a heck of a journey for Perez thus far. What does she have to do in order to keep it going with a victory in this match? Roxanne is new to WWE, but she's by no means a rookie in this business. She has well-earned instincts that got her to the dance, and she needs to trust them and remember that whatever happens, she's probably been there before. She's showing signs of slowing now. And this match is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Places are right in the corner. for that. I don't know if we're going to have any taste buds left after that. And down with a backdrop. Middle rope for a tornado DDT. Will this be enough? And the referee stops the count before two. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. And Perez saw that coming. Perez is pushing back now. Roxanne showing it's not time for lying down. It's time for fighting back. And that definitely made solid impact. Roxanne Perez looking for Griff Pop Rocks. Perez might have her. Two. Amazing. You have to.
to wonder what more does she have left? We have reached a whole other level here. That was a great opportunity to put this one away, but it slipped right through her fingers. And that was some vicious DDT we just saw. Roxanne Perez is just feeding off the electricity inside the arena now. Look at this. DDT on the foot. And here we go now. Elbow drop to the knee. Roxanne now has a leg up in this match. Roxanne putting that in-ring instinct to good use, trusting in what she's learned from past experiences. Single leg drop kick. She says, no thanks. No way. Oh, no! Really thought that was going to work, but now we got a human being we have to scrape off the floor. Landing the uppercut. Disrupts the attack with an elbow to the gut. She's in a dangerous spot and could lose this. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Oh no, stop to the arm. What a snap there. There's the kick. Oh, from behind. Oh, wow. Frankensteiner. Nice. Tremendous. Uh-oh. Oh, oh saw it coming. Oh, smashing the jaw. Perez will come back after that. Oh, she's still alive. Somehow, someway, escapes defeat. Still alive. I don't know if there's more frustration or desperation in the ring now, knowing that you tried to end this and failed. Up high, cross body from the top. Oh, a knee. Lights out. All wrapped up. Now, uh, Cobra clutch into the fireman's carry takeover. Punishing the lower back. Oh, oh, oh. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. Roxanne's having trouble assessing the situation. And an elbow drop, too. She's got it. Got her shoulders down. Forces the shoulder up after two. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. <laughs> Roxanne sensed that was coming. She's looking to put Roxanne away. And here we go. What a spine buster. And that is all she wrote. Try to end it. And a big victory here tonight. Here is your winner, Billy King. Roxanne Perez processing the fact that she lost this one. Roxanne can't let this loss keep her down, though, especially if she wants things to turn out differently next time. I don't know about you guys, but I feel a sudden chill in the air.
Well, Dexter Loomis has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Recluse, Wyoming. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Dexter Loomis. He's almost reptilian in his movements. You're right, Saxton. His walk, his crawl, his attacks in the ring, everything about Loomis is nightmare fuel. The eyes of an artist who will paint a picture of his victims before their match. Competitors dread seeing their image painted by Loomis. I wasn't going to say anything, but Loomis painted Saxton earlier today. He did? Wait, can I at least keep the painting? Sure, if you survive. You hear that, guys? Stand back! Here it comes! And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, the Hurricane! The Hurricane's a proven competitor in both the singles and tag team divisions. Well, the Hurricane has also proven that he doesn't need a sidekick. He's perfectly capable of flying solo. And just like a real hurricane, this guy's a total blowhard. Oh, okay, I get it now, Corey. You know what? You're jealous. You're, you wish you had a cool superhero suit, just like the hurricane. Corey has plenty of cloud suits already. Well, I'll take that as a compliment. One of the most disturbing superstars any of us have ever had the opportunity to witness, Dexter Loomis. With his cold demeanor and icy stare, he sends a chill right down your spine. Don't forget about his bizarre intimidation tactics. Practically stalking his opponents, Loomis is seriously unpredictable and quite the mystifying guy. Yeah, Dexter Loomis loves to get inside his opponents' heads before destroying them inside the ring. And straight out of the comic book and into the squared circle is the Hurricane. Don't let the cape fool you. The hurricane might look like a novelty act, but he's got some very real skills in which... Uh-oh, this is not going to look pretty. Submission being applied. And you know, Jim rolled out of it. Great escape. He moves just in time. These two trade encounters, an absolute master class. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. He saw it coming, taking advantage. What now? Ooh, stop to the tummy. Tummy? Oh. Double axe handle. Corey, we talk a lot about the mind games that someone like Dexter Loomis plays against his opponents. Well, that's because his intimidation level can quickly turn the tables in his favor. If you want to stand a chance against Loomis, you've got to stay focused. Don't think about how he probably plans to kidnap you and put you in his basement after the match. Just think about the fight and the win. Just Hurricane looking. Drops the hammer. Right on the lower back. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Lights out here. Oh, no, maybe not. Denying a two count there. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty. Wait, 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 wait. He forces a break before the count of two. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Enough already. Loomis busted open, looking even creepier now. Great. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Looking for more. Tope Con Hero. 
like a heat-seeking missile hit the target right on the mark. Thrown back in under the ropes. Boom! Did you hear the impact? Oh, man, the neck breaker. And Hurricane expected that. Dropkick hits the mark. Look at this, just unloading. Jeez. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. What's Luke Finding their way out of this position. Elbows to the temple. The Irish curse. Looking for the submission. Inverted figure four leg lock, this could be it. Slam. Hits him with a gut wrench suplex. What impact. He's absorbing some tough hits now. Hurricane delivered that attack with the force of a category five. The power on display right now is ridiculous. Flying. Low down splash. Everything working against Loomis now. And you see what happens when you focus? When you refuse to let Loomis get into your head? Loomis is going to need a new game plan here. Nice reversal by Loomis. And Loomis is finally changing the tempo with that attack. Now's a chance for him to get back into this match. Now that'll do some serious damage. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. Look at this, just unloading. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, the arm taking the brunt of that. Super kick. Good night. Loomis is showcasing his strength. Yeah, and Loomis enjoying this methodical approach. From the second row. Goodness, what a sunset flip. Don't do it. Somersault plunge onto the floor. That is the attitude of a daredevil. The ability to take risk with minimal trepidation. No fear, absolute reckless abandon. And that's a her crazy maneuver right there. No, I always thought this guy... Throw behind from the Hurricane, has him up. For the Barry Breaker! Does that finish Loomis? Referee's count only getting higher. Come on, got to get back in the ring. He's back in so close to a count out. You do not want to lose that way. Shoulders down. to get the W tonight. Talk about a comic book ending. Good triumphs over evil. You're almost as delusional as the Hurricane himself, Saxton.
The legendary Dusty Rhodes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Austin, Texas, weighing in at 289 pounds, the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The Bull of the Woods has arrived. This man is all about being mean and making green. Reforming the OC once again. And his opponent, representing the OC by way of Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 292 pounds, Luke Gallows. He may be fun-loving outside of the ring, but he is all business in it. And he has made that painfully obvious time after time. One of the best big men the WWE Universe has ever seen. He's earned a ton of tag titles looking to repeat the same success on his own. A man of many names, Luke Gallows dead set on being mean and making green tonight. Few people have achieved the kind of success Gallows has in every corner of the world. The big man has long been a dominant force in the ring, whether he's riding solo or facing off in tag team competition. For a man like Luke Gallows, the world is in his hands and the future looks bright. And standing in the opposite corner, live and in living color, the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. Big Dust is here to kick ass and take names. Anyone who laces up the boots needs to know the Dreams never back down from a fight, and he ain't starting tonight. He takes control. A bear hug, furiously trying to fight his way out of the bear hug. Can he do it? Yes. For it too. I think this match still has a ways to go. This maniac's out of control. That's a sadistic individual. You can sever an artery or suffer nerve damage after something like that. Or at least need a tetanus shot. The veteran Luke Gallows presents such a challenge for his opponents. What's a good way to get the big man off his game? Gallows has wrestled all over the world, and he has put a lot of miles on that body. He'll hit hard, and he can move fast, but pick a few weak spots, and you'll slow him down to a crawl. A oh, splash in the corner. This match is completely turned around. This superstar target in mind. Big boot. Look out. Big leg drop. Oh, you can tell he's feeling it now. This fight is pumping him. And they're going shot for shot, no for no. Back and forth, neither one giving up any ground. It looks like we've got ourselves a brawl here. This is a war of attrition with neither superstar wanting to be the one who surrenders. Great job refocusing to reverse that. One reversal after another. These two are reading each other's minds. You can feel the contact, and so does the WWE Universe. Up high! You gotta be kidding me! Big time risk pays off! The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. <laughs> 
Something of a competitive edge has been brewing between these superstars lately. A drive to prove who really has the upper hand here. Their competition can really bring out the best in people, and I think we will be seeing that from them here and beyond. Ah, oh, Dusty got caught with a reversal. Big forearm. Oof. Oof. Loving blow to the chest. And Rhodes' focus got lost there. And Gallows just unleashed that brawling offense there. And the big LG doing what he does best, dropping the hammer. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Do you guys think that this will finally end this rivalry, this big victory here? Well, we certainly hope so. These two proud competitors gave it their all, but the loser not too happy. I don't think this rivalry is anywhere near finished. She is quite simply the baddest. Yeah, and the competition's gonna find that out in just a moment. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Venice Beach, California. The baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey. Rousey went undefeated for a full year in WWE and tonight looks ready to continue her dominance. Listen to this place. They're going nuts. And from Indiana, the ring of honor women's television champion, the Rousey showing her opponent exactly what she thinks. Tensions riding high. Plans on getting things settled in the ring. I can't wait. Jump starting the action. They always say to have eyes in the back of your head. Looks like this time those eyes were open, Michael. Looks like the referee is motioning to these superstars, trying to get them into the ring. Yeah, come on. Let's get this match started the way. And now this match has officially begun. I'm not even sure the word official is in the vocabulary at this point. <laughs> I think you're right, Saxton, and I love it. You can't get caught in a hailstorm like that if you want to win. Lands a body shot. 
really think Rousey should rely on her ground and pound skills tonight. It might be a bit brutal, but it's effective. We know that Rousey's obviously got strikes at her disposal, so why not turn this into a one-sided fight? She wants to take this one outside the ring, it seems. Taking a moment to get pumped off of this crowd's incredible energy. She is just desperately trying to fight out of it. Shoved into the ropes and attacking the lower back. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh, put down face first. Counter. And now there's an opening. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Guillotine applied. Not going to last. Fighting desperately. Able to shrug off her opponent. Ronda had that scouted. Reaching their opponent, and look at these. And a series of vicious knee strikes to the body. Just never had a chance to block any of those. Oh, vicious knee to the face. And will this be it? Strong kick out there. She's still got a lot of stamina left. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Go for the arm bar and a punishing stretch. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. Taking this to the floor. And proving a bit slippery for them there. Oh. Ronda Rousey fears no woman. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Down with a suplex. Boom! Using the ropes. Ronda Rousey cut. And she goes for the pin. She kicks out in one. She likely knew that wasn't enough. She's just keeping the pressure on. That was just malicious. Insulting. Whoa, 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 whoa. Playing possum. I love it. Power right out in one. Still has enough energy for the simple kick out. What a shot. And she gets herself out of a precarious position. Oh, no. This isn't going to end well. Double stomp to the legs. Right to the spine, and Rousey avoids that one. <laughs> Side rush and leg sweep, takedown, and these will keep you down. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Turns the tables on Rousey. Taking off from the ropes, and Rousey can only remain on the defensive. Yeah, now Ronda's got to turn the momentum around. Striking at will. The ref might want to stop this one. One after another. Now, oh, trampling the opposition. Oh, my God. Oh, what a 
takedown by Rousey, and now she's going to turn into an armbar. And she's able to make it to the ropes to force the break. Pivotal opportunity there, just got denied by the rope break. Ronda showing off her impressive combat skills. This is what years of hard work and training look like. Ooh. Oh no, now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Stunning this. She will not quit. She will not stop fighting. Rousey able to ground her opponent. Nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. An agile escape. And responds with a counter of their own. Mm. Big time slam. This party's over. Good night. She faked her out. And she breaks the count. Her iron will on display for the world to see. How humiliating. This kicks to the face. to take out Rousey. Oh, man. He got the shoulders down. She gets the shoulder up. Somehow she's still in this matchup. It's unbelievable. Uh-oh. Fought off with an elbow. Big overhand. Targeting the stomach to reverse that maneuver. Side. Ooh, the forearm connects. That should do it right there. Got it. No, just a two. I didn't think we'd see a kick out there. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. And now Ronda is under immense pressure. But Rousey is always just one strike away from... She's going for it! And a major victory in her career tonight. Here is your winner, the baddest woman on the planet, Ronda Rousey! This is a big, big win for Ronda Rousey. Rousey showing off just how dominant she can be. That's just what she does, Saxton. Listen to this frenzy for L.A. Knight. If any dummies out there don't know, now they know. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, weighing in at 241 pounds, L.A. Knight. Definitely set to make an impact in WWE. This guy has never met a spotlight he didn't like, but I'll give credit where it's due. 
When you're as good as LA Knight, you shine bright naturally. There is nobility in our midst. Sit up straight, everyone. And his opponent from Blackpool, England, weighing in at 240 pounds, William Regal. When you watch William Regal, you are seeing old school grappling at its finest. Regal is truly a world class technical wrestler. Regal, a veteran of over 30 years, a truly savvy competitor. <laughs> Referee signals for the bell, and we are finally underway. These superstars are seeing red right now, gentlemen. Boom, oh, what an uppercut, Jory. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock song. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And Regal is countered. Yeah. Laid out with a power slam. Goes into the pin. Only a one count before the kick out. He is certainly sending a message, getting his shoulder up before two. that there's a cockier superstar in all of WWE than LA Knight. First of all, it's called confidence, Cole. But I will admit, it could possibly be used against LA Knight here, because this match may just come down to who's more focused. And finds a counter. We'll be looking to end things here with the Cobra Clutch. Fading quickly. He is determined not to lose this match right now. Oh, man, what a boot. Regal's toughness getting tested with that one. L.A. Knight backing up that talk with some masterful in-ring work. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oh, 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 what? He can end it here. Manages to escape before the three count. And frustration might be starting to set in. Denies the attack. Big forearm. Knight caught by surprise. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, look at it grind the features off their face. Oh, right across the top row. Now that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Knee straight to the neck. What a knee. Oh, look at this. Out to the apron. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Back suplex. Spine crushing. He may be in a bad way here. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Leaping high! My goodness, where do you think he picked that one up? That's what makes Knight so special. Yeah. That knowledge he possesses. Climbing up to the top now. Blast off through the air and connects. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. And William needed that badly. Prime opportunity now for Regal to get some separation and gather himself. Two. He's taking this to the floor now. Quick sidestep by Regal. Oh. Real European uppercut. 
a rather crude facial reconstruction. That's not very nice. A ripping and tearing at the face. The foot DDT. Tossed back into the ring. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. He is getting rid of the turnbuckle pack. LA Knight kick to the gut. BFT. Regal went down in a heap. Two count. Got him. And LA Knight is your winner. Here is your winner. LA Knight. William Regal has to be furious after this loss. Regal's blood is boiling right now. now. He may be a dignified man, but he's still got a temper, especially with a result like this. I have got chills, gentlemen. The one and only, the Dragon. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Honolulu, Hawaii. Weighing in at 235 pounds. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. Ricky the Dragon. And Steamboat, tremendously respected by the WWE Universe. What an ovation here. A list of accolades a mile long. A proud, talented competitor. A true wrestler's wrestler. And a true inspiration to anyone who has stepped inside the ring. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. No, oh, the king of hardcore. And his opponent, from truth or consequences, New Mexico, weighing in at 287 pounds, Cactus Jack. Think about the history of Cactus Jack, whose origins date back to both ECW and WCW, where he won tag team titles in both organizations. I think you meant origin, Saxton, but I understand <laughs> everyone's a little on edge when Cactus Jack's around. How'd you know? What I want to know is who would team with a man this dangerous? And when you're dealing with Cactus Jack, the rules are more like light suggestions. There we go. Superstars finally enter the ring, and we are officially underway. Punch connects. Oh, what an elbow high on the chin. Dodges out of the way. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Oh. Great reversal. Heads out of the ring. What's next? Elbow drop. For piercing. Two. He 
Cactus Jack's mind works a little different, shall we say. What's his best path to victory tonight? And I shudder to ask. Well, I shudder to answer because the path is to do whatever the hell he wants. Cactus takes things to a place nobody else is willing to go to. And at a certain point, his opponent will have had enough. And if they haven't, he'll probably be all too happy to oblige them. And gets tossed back into the mat. They need to be aware of a count out right now. Oh, Cactus answers back. And one more reversal. Talk about evenly matched here. Picture perfect drop kick. He's taking some good hits. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Neck breaker. That can't be enough, can it? And fends off the pinfall. No harm in seeing if he could finish him off quick there. Help. Well, this matchup has been. Pretty even so far, both men down, collision, middle of the ring. Pivotal point in the matchup, and the manager wants to let his presence be known. What, what is happening here? These two can't be inside the ring. The temper's yeah. obviously going out of control. Get him out of here. Good job, referee. And you too. Referee cleared. Wow, what a cool climb. It's still going. Still executing. Three in a row now. Their opponent's doubling into the corner. Wicked clothesline. He's got him down. Is this it? And they kick out at two. You have to think this battle is starting to weigh down on him. Elbow drop. The piercing. An unrelenting assault being brought to Cactus Jack. Going to be hard to stop Steamboat here. Cactus Jack has it locked in. Cactus showing complete abandonment for anybody's well-being. Steamboat isn't looking good as he stirs back up. Cactus Jack looking for the DDT. Will Cactus put it away here? Two. He kicks out somehow. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. I can see it in the eyes from here. Disbelief. Unbelievable how this one is still going on. He's heading back to the ring. Taking it outside the ring now. Oh, man. He's looking a little weary now. At this stage of the match, they are clearly starting to feel the effects of this back and forth. Stomping down. chest climbing up top he's got big plans taking flight diving body splash two kicks out that is just pure instinct at this point oh wicked kick to the lower back a non-stop assault from the dragon you gotta wonder what to Goes behind, hooks both arms. A uh, double check. He is in serious trouble here and finds his way out. Getting carried around, bad spot to be in. He decides, jeez. Oh, oh what a right. Yeah, that's an attitude behind it. Finds its mark. Effective. He's going for the pin. This could be it. Ricky the Dragon Steamboat wins. Here is your winner. The lasting effects of that unsanctioned battle earlier taking their toll and resulting in a loss here.
Well, they certainly seem very pleased with themselves. And they should be, coming out on top in what turned out to be a hard-fought match. And here he comes. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 212 pounds. One half of the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions, Mike And guys, this looks to be a match with major implications here in WWE. Could change the entire landscape here. Yeah. Yeah. Got to get himself locked in to go against the Visionary. Yeah, I'm sure he's done his homework, and I'm sure he's well aware that Seth Rollins can easily manipulate you into making a mistake. Here's someone who always has a plan and always knows who he's dealing with. It's Seth freaking Rollins. Think of everything Seth Rollins has been through. Everything he's accomplished, he can adapt to any situation. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins! Seth Rollins is one of the elite superstars in WWE, and the list of competitors he's put down reads like a who's who of future Hall of Famers. If we know one thing about the visionary, it's that he's always down for some action. Rollins doesn't take a back seat to anyone. Rollins enters the ring like a principal conductor about to lead an orchestra. And just like he controls this crowd, Rollins knows exactly what he's doing and can play his opponents like a finely tuned instrument. Action has made it back to the ring and we can officially start this match. Oh man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Shifts it back onto him. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Versatility from Rollins. Saw that coming. From the electric chair position, white hands will do it. Ripcord, Lariat. And a steam. Jumping knee drop. So precise. Using the elbow as a weapon. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Cover, cover. And he manages to 
kick out at one. Not even a near fall there. Oh, man. He didn't need that eyebrow anyway. Ooh, knee right to the spine. Make your legs go numb. Seth freaking Rollins loves to get a frenetic pace going. He loves to get rolling. Yeah, but I don't know if that's the smartest strategy for the visionary here. We know Rollins knows when to slow things down, to pick his spots. He's definitely learned a thing or two under the wing of Triple H, and he could show that off here tonight. Oh, my God. Mood salt! Did you see that height? He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Take down, looking for the cross face, it's cinched in. We're gonna free the arm and does just that. Double axe handle. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. He's burying elbows in the midsection. With the counter. Rollins known to be irritating. We're seeing no different now. Big knee to the midsection. The better part of Valor. Coming back into the ring, back to the action. Oh, the elbow connects. He switches it back around. Back and forth from these competitors. Into the chop block, a debilitating counter there. Inflicted. This match is brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, Rollins at this stage getting visions of winding this battle down. Soaring. Five star frog splash. Pure skill on display from Seth Rollins. Yeah, I believe my own height too if I could do that. How? How? Watch out. Throwing all costs into the wind and leaping to the outside. Oh, there it is. Ripcord knee. A relentless continued assault from Rollins. And that's what happens when Rollins is allowed to slow things down, to pick his spots and execute when the time's right. Now, the visionary's in control. Hooked up and boom. Okay, he's re entering the ring. Letting his opponent know he can take on the world right now. Oof. Lands the haymaker right to the leg. Heading up, he's thinking big. He's looking completely lost as he finds his footing. Up high. This is going to come down to who wants it more. Oh, God. You can't take much more of this. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. Northern Lights bomb. Goodness. Rollins dead to rights in desperate need of salvage. Jab to the throat. Up and around. Finished off with a rolling cutter. Is there any fight left in Rollins? This is what you call high risk, high reward. Look out! Oh, misses the mark. Oh! Shoulders down! He kicks out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. 
Another reversal. I Rollins with a head of steam. Big air. The stop. It is all Rollins now. Oh. And he's still in the game. Man, oh man, what resilience. He's got to be running on instinct alone. And we know Rollins. Rollins on the move. Stop. Rollins just turned the lights out. Makes the cover. That's a big win right there. And I'm going to check on a... Well, hold up, hold up. The, this superstar... Oh, no, come on, God. this is uncalled for! Now, what does this prove? Oh, 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 are you guys ready? The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 220 pounds, the Ring of Honor Television Champion, Kyle Fletcher. Look, others may not like it, but this competitor is one of the most honest people in the business today. Others don't like it because, honestly, every word is just mean. I was honestly told I was a smelly idiot earlier today. <laughs> Truth hurts, Saxton. An up-and-coming Lucha talent, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah, time to throw the rule book out the window. And his opponents, first, from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 205 pounds, Eddie Guerrero! Byron, it's almost intimidating to think of how highly skilled Eddie Guerrero already is this early in his career. Yeah, you're right, Corey. Exceptional aerial skills, but also pretty amazing when it comes to skirting the rule book. shape of his life. Well, look, when you mix the power and skill of Eddie Guerrero, he makes for a very intimidating opponent. You're right, Byron, and he'll use the power and skills he possesses without reservations.
Cody Rhodes is here, dashing no more. Look away, he's hideous. And from Marietta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes. You know, once upon a time, Cody called himself dashing. Now he's consumed with ugliness. Yeah, he's even brought paper bags to the ring and demanded that fans and the crowd wear them. I'm surprised he hasn't made you wear one, Saxton. Well, if that was the case, you wouldn't hear me on commentary, Corey. I fail to see the problem there. Cody says he'll win tonight or he will never show his face again. Is that a promise? I hope it is. Action has made it back to the ring, and we can officially start this match. Oh, man. Yeah, the refs got their hands full in this one. Oh, man. Check to the gut. And a big right hand. Look at this. Snap suplex. He got whipped into that corner. Hits the drop kick. Oh, and soon we could be seeing a submission here. Oh, there it is. And he got in there. I thought that was it. You and me both. Oh, knee right to the spine. Ooh. Great wherewithal on the counter. Counters, this could be an opportunity. And it looks like they have no problem bending the rules there. MCL and ACL could have major damage, possibly the fibula. Excellent strategy there. If I've said it once, I've said it a thousand times. In a triple threat match, you absolutely have to keep your head on the swivel. You can't just focus on one opponent because the second you do, the other can easily sneak in and change the complexion of this match. Superstar using the rope as a weapon. This is uncalled for. Come on! I see how it is. He can do it here. And he gets the shoulder up before two. Got to change something up with the pin technique. Oh, God. Eddie Guerrero trying to ramp things up. Ooh. And it looks like Cody will face another hard test. Using the cranium. Kick lands. Quickly, the cover! He narrowly avoids the count. Wow. Bam! Down he goes. Toss down. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Oh, that rake. That's not right, but effective. And Rhodes wants more from his opponent. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. Looking for something, anything under the ring. Cody Rhodes procures a sledgehammer, ready to smash another throne. The Bray Buster. Big double axe handle. He has an answer for Rhodes. Turn your lights out. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. He's starting to struggle here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. Oh, oh, oh. sledgehammer to the midsection will knock the wind out of him. His athleticism is off the charts. There's a roll through. Roll through, super kick.
Up and around. Down with a tilt the world backbreaker. Put her in a position now. Piercing the throat. Grabbing the by the neck to a suplex. Just a perfect mix of pure power and bad intentions. Oh, man, he grabbed the kendo stick. Everyone needs to watch out now. Oh, man, a kendo shot to the head. That can't feel good. The right hands create separation and an escape. Ooh, ooh, that can take away all the moment. And he goes for the pin. No, shoulders up at two. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Ooh, he fends off the attack. He's one step ahead there. The handle slipped. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Oh, no, not with the back. Home run. And he grabs. Oh, buster. Does that finish Rhodes for good? And there's the breakup, just in the nick of time. <laughs> Hooked up. Nothing fancy there. Spinning your Anagi. That's gonna be it. Two! Kick out. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Sequence of reversals there. Rhodes denies the attack. Planted with a neck breaker. No doubt Cody is having trouble here. Yeah, Eddie just can't be stopped now. What a match this has been. What a fight. And we are all shoulders down. He's able to beat a two count. No time to waste being shocked. You've got to maintain pressure. Look at these educated hands and feet. And a DDT to follow it up. I guess he thinks the one thing missing in this match is a steel chair. Oh, he could pin his opponent right here. It's over. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Look at this, going counter for counter. Oh, place knee right to the midsection. And Rhodes batters the competition further there. You can really tell that Cody's desperate. Will it be? He breaks up the pin, and Corey, the match continues. I love it. Truck kick with precision. Vicious right forearm. Punch. And Eddie taking on even more damage there. This is extremely dangerous territory for Eddie to beat. Cody looking to end this. And this could do it. Crossroads. Cody's put a lot of competitors out with that. Two count. The hole. Set up and side rush and leg sweep. Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. Picture perfect drop kick. And up the turnbuckles we go. Before three. It was almost all over. Almost a three count. Yeah, talk about a close call. Here he goes for the win. Yeah, he closes it out. No, stops the count at two. I am shaking my head in disbelief over how he managed to get the shoulder up. Knew what was coming there. Looking for the suplex all the way up. Look at this power. Oh, no. From behind. Chop block. Oh. 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 One handed. Ooh. Well measured. Heads out, and he has all the time he wants. Run. He's got his head no stick. 
Moves outside. What's the plan here? Drawn out of ringside and back to the mat. A nice snap there. Takedown. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Oh, and that buys some time. Caught in a bad position here. Oh, look at this. And he gets delivered back into the ring. Ooh, saw it coming and hit him with a shot to the face. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And now thrown back into the ring. High angle belly and back suplex. Uh oh Brass decision making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Uh oh. Blocked the effort and cut them off with a shot to the gut. All right, here we go. Inverted DDT. Bite. Oh, nasty roundhouse kick. Defensive elbow to the gut ends that. Oh, Bulldog brings them down. Eddie taking a step back and measuring his opponent. Cody Rhodes lifts him up. Showing his power, Alabama slam. Feed off the WWE Universe. This place is starting to rock. with the crossbody. And he denies Cody. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Oh, he busted. Oh, geez, that was nasty. Hoping to end it here. Stopping the refs count at two. He refuses to stay down. Pure instinct. Continues. That's teamwork. What a boot. He's got him scouted. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. A series of reversals. He is truly feeling it right now. As well he should. Kick to the midsection. Pump handle applied. Wicked driver. Well, that could have Guerrero right now. Turning the tables. The American Nightmare. Rhodes. Cody Rhodes nailed it. Cover. There's two. Near fall. I don't know how he just kicked out. And I'll tell you what. I don't really think he knows either. You got to wonder what more Cody has to do to put him away here. Oh, my gosh. What impact. separate from all three superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. There's a reason this is called a triple threat match, gentlemen, and these three superstars just showed us all why.